Hey you, what up? Welcome to my channel or welcome back. I'm Mariam. We have a new backdrop for the holiday season and today's video is a long time coming. This is a video that I have gotten requests for so many times and it's my first time actually doing it. I am talking about the Sephora VIB sale recommendations. Today is the day. It's the first time that I have gathered up all of my favorite products that are available at Sephora and I have compiled all a long list of recommendations. Quick little disclaimer about my voice. I'm still getting over my cold, so you might hear me sound very, very hoarse in this video. I hope you disregard that because this video is just jam-packed with good stuff. This is the video that you need if you are a Sephora Insider or a Sephora VIB member, or if you are a Rouge member, depending on which level you are, you could save 10, 15, or 20% off at this Sephora holiday sale. So I think this was a really great idea for a video. Video. Thank you guys so much for requesting it. Also, I don't just talk in this video. I actually apply all of my favorite products onto my face to create this very easy breezy look. So I really hope you like this one. I hope you save it. I hope you make it a favorite of yours. Also, remember to subscribe if you aren't already and hit that notification bell so you can see all of my Wednesdays and Sundays videos. And now I'm gonna stop talking and actually get into this video and get into these recommendations. Let's hit it. As always, I come prepared. So I am just gonna start from the beginning in the order in which I apply my makeup. So I'm gonna start with the primers. So when it comes to primers, I almost think of them as like a gimmicky sort of product. Like you don't really, really need a primer. But if you have some skin concerns, like if you have any sort of texture, if you have acne, if you are very oily like me, then a primer can be your friend. Let me just go ahead and share with you my favorite primer from Sephora and this one is a pricey one. It is the YSL Two Chiclat Blur Primer. This one is incredible. It looks like honey in a bottle and it is $52. So this is definitely a pricey one. However, if you are a Rouge member, you could save over $10 and get it for like 40 something dollars. If you are a VIB, you could save 15% and so on and so forth. So I think this would be a nice splurge. The reason why I love it is because it definitely blurs the skin, but it also gives it this beautiful lit from within type of luminosity that somehow transforms onto your overall look through your foundation. So this one I don't recommend often, but I do use it in my real life sparingly though, because it is very pricey. And it's also one of the only primers that I like to apply with my fingers. Because it's my first time doing a recommendations for the VIB sale, I wanna talk about all time faves. And then if I start doing these videos more often, then I can kind of keep it more current with like more recent product recommendations. Before today, it's gonna be a mixture of everything. Basically what I did to prepare for this video is I went on the Sephora website, I went into every single makeup category and I literally just looked at what I actually like. So anyway, this primer I do really love. It's not a recent fave, but it's an all time fave and you can probably already see the result on camera. My skin looks and feels a lot more velvety. If you have really great skin, this is something that you could probably wear alone. It's just like a really nice, beautifying, perfecting product. I love it, Mwah, chef's kiss. Another primer that I like is the One Size Secure the Blur. This guy right here, it's $30. It's a really decent primer. I like it, I reach for it. It actually lives in this room, not in my makeup room. So whenever I'm filming and whenever I don't remember to grab my non Sephora primer is when I reach for this one. Another primer that I like is the Strivectin Blur Factor Primer. For some reason, I could not find it and because it was out of sight, it was out of my mind. But this is a primer that I really like because it's kind of like skincare slash primer infused type of product. It's $39, it really does make your skin look better over time. So that that's another product that I like, but I don't have it handy. Like, I don't know where it is. I need to find it immediately. Okay, moving on to foundations. Woo, baby, sweetie. I've got a lot of foundation recommendations from Sephora. There are so many. It was really hard for me to narrow it down. And I wanted to, you know, give you one splurge foundation, like something that, let's say you could wear on your wedding day or like for a photo shoot for like looking your very, very best. And then I also wanted to like give you one in each price category. I guess let's start from the top. Dior has incredible foundations that are my all-time faves. I'm talking about the Dior Backstage Face and Body. This one's $40. I'm also talking about the Dior Forever Matte Foundation. This one is so bomb. Ugh, this one is 
$52, so another pricey one, but just like the shade range is incredible, the coverage is really good, it doesn't look fake, it stays on long. I love these, I've loved these for a long time. Actually, Dior is like really great at foundations and products, period. I, I don't know why I like don't talk about them more often. I guess it's because they're really pricey and sometimes I feel bad. But with this sale, you can get monies off. So this is the time to splurge, I think. Similarly, I am a huge fan of Charlotte T's Airbrush Flawless Finish Foundation. This one is super full coverage, super glam. $44, but worth it. The shades, however, are a little bit hard to find. It's really hard to determine what your shade is, and I don't think I have like a perfect match. I think I could wear like three, possibly even four. You know, I can mix some, but an incredible foundation that I love. My oily AF skin loves it as well. It stays glam, it stays beautiful throughout the night. I mean, oof, love it. Moving on. Another kind of pricey one is the Bobbi Brown Skin Long Wear Foundation, SPF 15. This one I discovered this summer. It's a great foundation, beautiful coverage, not super full coverage, but just like a beautiful, natural, medium, wearable looking skin finish. My shade here is Natural Tan, and in Dior Forever I wear 3WO, or 2WO in the summertime. In the backstage, I can even wear the 3W. Okay, going down the list, recent discovery, Lawless, Conceal the Deal Clean AF Foundation. This one is great. New fave, recent discovery, an amazing, incredible foundation, really great coverage, long lasting. Obviously, I have a review on most of these foundations, definitely on the Charlotte T, definitely on the Lawless. Pretty sure I have one on the Bobbi Brown as well. So check those out before making your decision, but all of these I love, all of these I would recommend. Similarly, Fenty Eavesdrop, incredible. This is supposed to be more of like a skin tint, BB cream, CC cream type of situation, but it's a little bit more full coverage than CC creams or BB creams that I'm used to. So I would still put this in the foundation category. Now in the skin tint category, you already know my fave. I don't have it with me, but I will pop it up for you. It is my Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Skin Tint. This one, I love. I love it for every day. I love it for just perfecting the skin, perfecting the texture, for just brightening, just making me look like myself, still in my own skin, but a little bit better. Truth be told, I even wear it to the gym sometimes, and it looks undetectable, okay? So that one is $33, but I believe there's also a mini for 19, so you can get one of those. Save yourself some coins. I must also mention the stick. Hourglass Vanish Stick is one of my faves. Also, I've been loving the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Stick. This one is incredible. Very, very natural looking on the skin. Easy, on the go type of product. Throw it in your bag, apply it in the subway like a true New Yorker. You know what I'm saying? Easy peasy, I love it. Now, for the splurge, if you are really looking for something special, I would highly recommend the Kogendo Aqua Foundation. This one is very pricey, it's $77, but if you wanna splurge, this is a good splurge. The shade that I wear is 143, easy to remember, 143, like I love you from back in the 2000s. This is something that I don't personally reach for a lot, but it stays in my stash whenever my skin is at its worst, but I want it to look its best, and I want it to also look natural. This is one of those products. It'll definitely enhance and it'll definitely complement anyone and everyone. I mean, yeah, this foundation is a dream. I mean, do you see how beautifully it glides on? So good. And man, this is a solid combo. I mean, it's over 120 bucks altogether. Damn near 130, but... Ooh. Going down the list to the concealers, there's three concealers that I would recommend to you from what Sephora is offering right now. In no particular order, I am loving the Lancome Tant Adult Ultra Wear All Over Concealer. This one is great, I do have a review on this. I would recommend this for anyone who's looking for a no makeup makeup solution for every day. Let's say you don't wanna wear a lot of foundation all over your face, but you have some breakouts, this is great for that. It can conceal under the eye to brighten, or if you get something that is perfectly skin matching, it can actually literally make your flaws disappear. I'm a big fan. NARS Soft Matte Concealer in the Pot is similar in the sense that it is very great for hiding imperfections, but it has a cream formula and like a very thick consistency as opposed to liquid, which is a lot easier to maneuver. But this is great if you have like a really big breakout and you really need to mask it, this is perfect for that. But it's also flexible enough that you could wear under your eyes and it won't look cakey. Love. Now the one that I reach for the most is my Fenty Beauty Bright Fix Eye Brightener. This is an incredible product. It's a layerable type of concealer. So a little bit 
will give you a very natural coverage, but a little bit more will actually give you full coverage. So I reach for this all the time because it's just so easy to use because it's so natural looking. It's virtually undetectable on the skin. This is $25. Right now I do have a bit of color on my face from my Mexican getaway. And even a little bit of color can make your concealer appear really bright. So right now, the shade that I use when I'm not tan, shade six Mel, it looks really, really bright on me, but I am going out tonight. This will serve as like my glam under eye. Also, you could use it for that lift in the outer corners. Honestly, this is probably one of my favorite products of the year. It's just so easy, so versatile, and it works. Okay, let's talk about powders. From the setting powder category, you already know I'm going to recommend my favorite one size translucent setting powder. Yes, there are tons of setting powders, translucent ones that I love from Sephora. Laura Mercier is a classic. Lancome Long Time No Shine. I love all of those. But this, I gotta say, is my absolute favorite at the moment because it's so smoothing. It's so skin perfecting. It just works really, really well. Obviously, everything that I'm talking about in this video, I am linking below. In my my description box so you could check it out and if you want to order from my links I really appreciate it if you do but anyway this powder is great it comes in a mini or in a large size it's great for brightening for smoothing for setting and just like look at how nice and blurred that looks now compared to this if you're looking for something with staying power if you are very oily like me or simply if you like matte powders I would highly recommend the new makeup forever ultra HD matte setting powder. I use the shade Matte Doré, and this is great for just setting the rest of your face, not just under the eyes. It works really well with dewy foundations, especially if you have oily skin, and you just need a little bit of that extra staying power. So those are my two recommendations for the loose setting powder. In the pressed powder category, you gotta splurge. You absolutely must splurge on the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Skin Perfecting Micro powder. This one is my favorite pressed powder of all time. It is pricey at $45. And if you love it as much as I do, you will go through this quickly. This is probably one of a few products that I actually repurchase all the time, even though the brand constantly sends me this in the mail. I go through it quickly. Also, I want to say that this is the powder that inspired Patrick to create his powder. They're very similar in terms of smoothing properties, in terms of perfecting the skin and just making it look better than before. But Charlotte's is a pressed powder formula, so it's really great on the go if you're traveling. It's really great to throw in your makeup bag. You need this one, links below. I do have one more recommendation in the pressed powder category, and this one is a little bit different. I'm talking about the Bare Minerals Original Mineral Veil in the pressed powder format. The shade that I like is Sheer Medium. This one is always sold out, but if you can get your hands on it, remember this is the one. This is $29, and what's great about this is that it is absolutely weightless. It's very light, it feels like nothing on the skin, but it absolutely sets your makeup, whatever you're wearing underneath. Let's say you're wearing the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue that I don't have on my table. This is a perfect pairing with that. It will just make you look like you have flawless skin and like you're not wearing any makeup at all, but you are. Going down the list to bronzers. Right now, I am loving Huda Beauty's Glowish Soft Radiance Bronzing Powder. Shade Tan Light is amazing. This one's really great because it gives you that very believable natural glow from within type of radiance that's not shimmery, that's not metallic, it's not reflective or anything like that. It won't make you look oily. It just looks healthy and I really, really am a fan of it. $31, I would recommend it. But but if you're looking to splurge, I have another recommendation for you. And this might be like a good bang for your buck because this is actually a quad. So I am talking about the Dior Backstage Contour Palette. This one right here is really loved by me. It has these four really beautiful universal shades, a really nice highlighting shade that's not like a glowy highlighter, but more of like a glow from within type of highlighter. This stunning bronzer, very olive, very believable, beautiful color if you're someone who's like a medium tone. Over here, there's like a corresponding shimmery shade that's also like part olive, part bronzy, and then there's also a much deeper shade that you could either contour with or bronze up with depending on your skin tone. This is a really, really lovely quad. It's $45. Also been kind of out of sight, out of mind for me, but then when I went down the list of what's available at Sephora, I was like, oh shit, I cannot not recommend this. I feel like this is what the sale is about, to be able to save money on 
things that you typically wouldn't be able to splurge on, you know? So this is one of those for me. Also, this shade here is one of those that you could easily contour with. So it's not just great for bronzing, it's also really good for contouring because it's not too orangey. And if you wanna know one of my biggest makeup pet peeves, it's orange bronzer. I hate orange bronzer. You know what? I'm gonna put this on like the top of my bronzer drawer so I can start reaching for it more. It's just right. Also, an even bigger splurge is the Charlotte T Film Star Bronze and Glow. This one also has a very natural looking bronzer that you can highlight with and a gorgeous highlighter. This is a great duo, $68, something that looks great every day, but it's kind of pricey for every day. But then again, if you're wearing makeup every day, wouldn't you wanna put like the best type of quality, the best type of product, on your face? I know I would, which is why I'm recommending it. And of course, also, you can't go wrong with NARS Laguna. This is one of my all-time favorite bronzers, has been for a long time. They're constantly reinventing the packaging, the sizing. This one is great. I believe it is $38, but Laguna is my favorite shade. Safe bet, lovely. Okay, blush time, you already know. Do I have to even say it? I will. F-E-N-T-Y, Fenty, cream blush is where it's at. These are fairly inexpensive, $20, stunning, stunning shades, flex flexible formulas that can go on top of your bare skin, on top of your moisturizer, SPF, or on top of foundation, even on top of powder. I am absolutely obsessed. This is by far my favorite cream blush out on the market. The shades are stunning, super flattering, super versatile. There's tons of them. They keep on adding more. I love it. Also, big fan of Makeup by Mario's blushes. This one is my favorite color, poppy pink. Just Really youthful, really girly, really pretty. 24 bucks for this. Big fan of Charlotte's Cheek to Chic in the shade Ecstasy. This is a must have shade. I feel like this is one of those that looks great on everyone. And it also has like a duo function here. There's a brighter shade and then there's like a paler shade. One of them is more shimmery than the other. The other one's more matte. So it's nice. It can give you options, but swirl together, this is Flawless, 40 bucks for this, expensive, but you know, I'm not gonna say it. Also really love Natasha Denona's Puff Paint Liquid Blush Serum. This is youth in a bottle, <laughs> if I could just call it that. Such a pretty shade, such a gorgeous formula. And to be honest with you, I always look at Natasha Denona's brand as a brand that excels at eyeshadows, but her blushes, let me tell you, they're coming for the eyeshadows. They are really, really good. Another liquid blush that I really like is from Rare Beauty. This is extremely pigmented. The tiniest little bit is all you need, like literally just like a tiny drop like that because it is that pigmented and it spreads that well. I almost feel like it's too much product for $22 and for how pigmented it is, but if you're a makeup artist, you need this. But today I'm gonna go for Charlotte's Cheek to Chic because I miss it. I haven't reached for it in a while. I'm just gonna load it up on my Blooming Blush Brush from Bare Minerals and just hug my cheeks with this gorgeous shade. If Natasha Denona's brand excels at eyeshadows, I would say that Charlotte's brand really excels at powders. Anything powder is incredible from Charlotte. So think blushes, think setting powders, think bronzers. All of that is just super skin perfecting, super fine, just really, really, really high quality. You know what? I'm gonna go a little bit out of my own personal order. I'm gonna talk about the highlighter. I wanna be able to just complete the face and then move on to eyes, brows, lips, etc. In the highlighter category, I gotta give it to Dior again. Their Backstage Quad at $45 is a beauty. There are several shades of this. This one, shade 002 Glitz, is my favorite one because it has this stunning peachy highlighter shade. Also has these two very reflective shades on the top, but these are just like a little bit more glowy as opposed to reflective. And they have this beautiful baked jelly formulation that just lays really nicely on the skin. This one right here is my most loved shade, but this one I do use on the body, on my chest. Just like super skin perfecting, pretty glowy. Definitely great if you want to lift those cheekbones up to the heavens, kind of like trick the eye into thinking that you have a facelift, you know? A uh, fan. And let me just swatch these two for you. These are like almost wet looking. They are very reflective as opposed to this, which is a little bit more natural. So you have options in this quad. Another highlighter that I would highly recommend, and this is a recent fave, is the LYS Aim High Pressed Highlighter 
powder. This is a clean black owned beauty brand at Sephora. I love these highlighters. I traveled with just this one and I was using it everywhere, all over my face, all over my body for pictures. The shades are stunning. There's three shades, a champagne, a rose gold, and then like a bronzy shade, which I have in my other room. I'll show you this one also in comparison. You see that? Just like super smooth. Not as reflective, but just blinding and bright. Ooh. All right, moving on to brows. I'm very picky when it comes to brows, so there's really only a couple of products I really can recommend in the whole brow section. One of them is the new Makeup by Mario Master Hold Brow Gel. I'm actually gonna apply it on. This one I like because it is very strong. It works for my unruly brows. It really does hold the hairs in place. It holds them together. You can easily shape them to whatever shape you like. Boy brows, clean brows, laminated looking brows, fluffy brows, any of those styles you can do with this one because it is just really, really grippy. The other brow gel that I constantly use and would totally recommend for you guys is the Benefit 24 hour brow setter. It essentially does the same thing, but I would say it's a little bit of a stronger hold. So maybe you can't get the fluffy brow with that one, but you can definitely glue your brows to your head and it will last forever. So just depending on what you're needing to do, especially if you have thicker, unruly brows. If you don't, if you have finer brow hairs, then you could probably get away with like any brow gel. One of my absolute fave brow pencils is the Huda Beauty Bomb Brows Micro Shade Brow Pencil. The shade that I'm using here is Rich Brown, number six. This one is super fine, finer than the ABH Brow Wiz or the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. And what I like about this one is Although it's fine, it is incredibly sturdy, so it won't break on you. Okay, eye primer time. You already know, my favorite one is the Fenty Beauty Primer. I use this one all the time. This one is in the mini size, and I'm gonna use it today as well. But I do have another fave from Sephora that I really like, and it is actually the Rare Beauty one. This one is really nice for smoothing your lids. Let's say you have some texture or imperfections. Let's say your lids are peeling like mine were last week. That's a primer that would absolutely help with that. Although not as grippy, this is something that I reach for whenever I'm using cream shadows or liquid eyeshadows. It works great for that. Okay, let's talk palettes. Obviously, I already mentioned it. Natasha Denona is the queen of eyeshadows, so I gotta mention her again. If you are looking to splurge, you gotta go with Natasha Denona. So any of her recent $65 palettes, like the Retro Palette or the Glam Palette, is something that I would recommend for you guys. I would even recommend her higher price palettes, the $129 ones, like the Biba. That's an all matte shadow, so if you're looking for something that'll last you for a long time, if you're a makeup artist, definitely take advantage of the sale for some of those higher priced items. Natasha Denona eyeshadows are incredible. They are my absolute favorites, along with Pat McGrath. But I actually heard that Pat McGrath is having a bigger sale on her website at the current moment. She's actually offering 30% off, so if you're interested I would highly recommend taking advantage of that on her website, not on Sephora, with any of her Mothership palettes. I get this question asked a lot, what's my favorite Mothership palette? I would say it's this one, Mothership 6, and the reason is this eyeshadow right here. This is that one and done single eyeshadow that will give you that starry, night sky sort of look on your lids. It is incredibly sparkly, but it is so micro fine and it's so reflective and it's so beautiful. There's really nothing like that out there. So I will definitely dip into that. If you're looking for something for every day, this lives on my makeup table. I use it all the time. Makeup by Mario Master Matte Eyeshadow Palette. This is inspired by skin tones and it honestly looks like a concealer palette, which is why it's so genius because you can literally create a very easy, very believable contoured look or a smoky eye or just a perfected eye with any of these shades, love it. If you're looking for a colorful palette, I would say one of my favorites is Mercury Retrograde from Huda Beauty. Not only is this a stunning color compilation, this is a really, really good quality eyeshadow palette. My favorite from Huda thus far. It's very versatile, but it's very colorful without looking and feeling intimidating. I feel like anyone can pull off these shades. This could look great during the day or at night. I'm a big fan of this one. All right, but for today, I'm gonna just slap on a bit of G glam palette. Of course, I have reviews on all of these, so you can look them up. But for today's video, I'm just gonna keep it really easy. Also, the glam palette is great because each shade is actually named after the placement 
for your eye. So for example, this is a crease shade and the way that the palette is situated right now is for medium skin tones. However, Natasha recommends rearranging the palette if you have a lighter skin tone or a deeper skin tone so that different shades can fit into different spaces. So that's really smart. I'm just gonna buff this shade into my eye socket for a bit of definition. I also like the fact that this palette is on the neutral side. It's not too warm and it's not too cool, but it has some warm shades and it has some cool shades. So it really is very glam because again, just like with the Mario palette, you can easily create contours, highlights, shadows, and add definition where you want it. For the center eyelid, I'm gonna go for this shade here. That's in the center eyelid slot. I'm just gonna smack that on easily with my finger. Actually, I'm applying this all over the lid. And for the inner corner, I'm gonna go for something a little bit brighter, like this guy right here, like a pink champagne, which is also a lot more sparkly. For the outer lid, I'm gonna go for this shimmery shade, which is like a bronzy or like a deep copper tone. And this is just great to add in the corner for a little dimension. And if you wanna smoke it out, you can. You can add like a smoky shade, but I'm just gonna blend this out real quick with the previous. Just like blend it and pull it up and out like so. All right, now for the center lid, I'm gonna grab that shade that I promised I would grab from the Mothership 6 Pat McGrath palette. And I'm gonna slap that to the center, to the very center, and all the way into the brow bone. This is what gives that glam. Oh man, this is so necessary. This is such an ethereal statement piece. Every time I wear this shade, I get so many questions, I get so many compliments. It looks fabulous on camera so reflective, but it's not glittery. It's just sparkly in the rightest way, you know? Okay, liner time. I mean, look, there's tons of liners out there. They all kind of do the same thing. The one that I'm really liking right now is the NARS Climax Liquid Eyeliner. This one is waterproof, wide on one side, and then thin once you flip it. So it makes it really easy to line your lids if that is what you want. It's waterproof, it's black, it stays all day. It's kind of fun to use, so. I like it a lot and I would recommend it. But of course there are tons of others on the Sephora website that I like, like the Lancome Grandiose Liner, like the Stila, like the KVD. I mean, the list goes on. I like the Benefit Roller Liner. One size is pretty decent, but those are all marker types. I'm more into this like brush finish. It's just so easy and elegant, you know? For pencil liners, I really love these Makeup Forever Artist Pencils. I have the whole collection because Makeup Forever was kind enough to send me these in PR one time. And of course, I hold on to these, I keep these, I use these for Halloween. These you can use on your lips, on your lids, on your brows, basically anywhere. And they're really, really good. Really easy to smudge, really like powdery types of pencils. So I would totally recommend those. Or their Aqua Resist pencils, which are waterproof. That's also just another really great option, especially in the water line. These are, I believe, like $18 to $20 each, and the Aqua Resists are $22. Okay, mascara time. I really like the Rare Beauty mascara. I really like the Patrick Ta mascara. They're very similar. I would even call them dupes. They give a very natural, fluffy, separated sort of lash, but with volume. So it kind of like combines all the aspects of a great lash, like a little bit of definition, a little bit of fluff, a little bit of length, a little bit of volume. And I like them both. But for me, because I have a very specific eye shape, I have the epicanthic fold here in the corner, which is a common feature in Asian eyes. I cannot wear regular mascaras without a waterproof top coat. So the one item that I would absolutely recommend to you, I'm talking about the Huda Beauty waterproof top coat. Right now it's actually sold out on Sephora, but if you can get your hands on it, get your hands on it, especially if you are a person who's into waterproof mascaras or who can only wear waterproof mascaras like me. Another thing that you absolutely need is this Laura Mercier Lash Curler. This is my favorite one for flatter eyes or for smaller eyes because it is much flatter than most. And because it's flatter than most and because my eyes are flatter, this actually helps grab all of my lashes, not just the center. And you can really get deep and curl much closer to the root than with those super curved ones. Now the super curved ones probably work for eyes that are not as flat as mine, but if you're struggling with lash curlers, this is my favorite one. Okay, moving on to the lip category. Let's talk about lip liners first. You gotta get your hands on Charlotte T's Lip Cheat Lip Liners. 
pillow talk in whatever shade works for you, whether it's the original for like light to medium skin tones, whether it's the medium for like tan skin tones, or whether it's the intense for deeper skin tones, you need these. These are incredible and they like actually make your lips look like they're fuller, but not overlined, even though you overline them. What I also like about this formula is that it's a little bit waxy, so it does a great job of like building up the lip and making it look like it's part of your flesh and not makeup. And also it's extremely, extremely long lasting. So I like to use the shade Super Size Me, Medium 2, and the original Pillow Talk to like really fake a fuller pout. Also really like the NARS Precision Lip Pencils. Those are really great. The shade Vence or Vance, one of my favorite shades for nude lipsticks, really great. And now moving on to lipsticks. I mean, I've said it so many times and I'll say it again, Mario. Ultra Suede lipsticks is where it's at right now, really. I love these so much. This is probably my new favorite traditional lipstick formula. It feels like MAC Powder Kiss, just very velvety, very smoothing, very perfecting on your lips. So it doesn't show up in any crevices. It doesn't highlight any like texture imperfections or flakiness or whatever. It just perfects the lips. Also, the shades are so stunning. There are 20 lipsticks in the entire collection, I believe, and I think most most of them are on my faves list. I do have a video, highly suggest you check it out if you haven't yet, just so you can see what it looks like on actual flesh. <laughs> For today, I'm gonna go with Kate, which is just a really pretty natural neutral shade. So that's like literally my one traditional lipstick recommendation. But if you're looking for liquid lipsticks or non-transferable liquid lipsticks, I really do like the NARS Power Matte, 26 to $28. I really love the Smashbox Always On liquid lipsticks. Those are fantastic. Some of the greatest shades. That one's $24. YSL Tatouage, lovely, lovely. More like a lip tint, but just beautiful. Great staying power. I love it. And also, of course, the Dior Lip Tattoo. So love all all of those that I have mentioned in the lip gloss category. I'm a big fan of the Fenty glosses. That's just what I've been reaching for a lot lately. Really like the Fenty Heat, even though these do not plump at all, but I just really like the colors and I like the formula. This shade here, the new Peach Pout is probably my favorite of all the Fenty gloss shades. So stunning. Also, if you're looking for something that's a little bit more comfortable on the lips, I highly recommend this NARS Oil Infused Lip Tint. This one's $26 and it's in the shade Laguna. This gives just the most glorious golden shine to your lips, but it's not like super pigmented or super unflattering or like over the top. This is just beautiful and natural and you will love it. It also feels really, really comfortable. In the bombs category, I also have to mention the Huda Beauty Silk Balm. I go to sleep with this every single night and I alternate this one with the Too Faced Pillow Talk. Those are my favorite bombs. I love how they feel. I love how they look. Basically, I couldn't recommend them more. I think this is the final product that I wanted to mention. I might have went a little bit overboard with all the recommendations because it looks like there's more than 50, possibly like 60 favorites that I have mentioned in this video. But if you're overwhelmed, I do have videos for a lot of those products that you can check out and that can help you make decisions. But do keep in mind that everything I mentioned is in the description box below with links. If you are a Rouge member at Sephora, you could save 20% on these items. If you are a VIB, you could save 15%. And if you are just an insider, which by the way, if you're not, it's free to sign up and you can become an insider to save 10% on all these items that I mentioned. If you guys are looking to take advantage of the sale, I hope you found this video useful. I really, really try to put my all into it. I really try to look at every single category and give it like my honest, true, judgmental eye so you can choose from the best. With that said, I will see you guys in my next video and I'm gonna zoom out so that you can hit my next two videos to check those out. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Mwah. Peace.